Okay, so here we are, day six in the McMurdo experience. It is 5.20 p.m. Tuesday the 14th for our viewers locally on the East Coast, and it is 11.20 a.m. Wednesday, December 15th, here at the station right now. I was looking into a mirror. I thought I'd do a little cool visual effects thing there for you. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm actually on my way out to a hike, but I figure we would show you around my dormitory, which is Building 155. It's kind of the epicenter of McMurdo because it is where the galley is as well as all of the HR, finance, recreation, housing offices. So here we go. The hall that I live on has a slew of characters, to say the least. Um, as you can see, a lot of people bring their own skiing and camping equipment. As we get to the farther end, here is the men's bathroom, quick shot in. Uh, we also have a sauna. So when you get a little chilly, you need to warm up, just head in there. Uh, this would officially be the party end of the hall. Uh, very decorative, very creative bunch here. Uh, and here are the representation of the Angry Texans. I've never met the Angry Texans other than the cardboard cutouts you see there. Um, sanitation is very big here on the station. Um, as you can see here, we sort all of our garbage. Uh, we have glass, mixed paper, aluminum, food waste, batteries, air, salts, skua. Skua is kind of like the goodwill of Antarctica. Anything you throw in there goes into a common collection area and people can rummage through it and get things that they need. Non-recyclables, plastics, and paper towels. Uh, we're going to go down the stairs right now, get a quick look at the galley, and probably the next time I checked in, we will be on the hike. Being sanitary is also very important, so they're real big on making sure you wash your hands before you come into the galley. So here's a quick look around. It's uh, cafeteria style. It's all you can eat, but eat what you take. See you soon on the trail.